Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This time we have another reaction video. This time reacting to Hyrule Warrior, the Hyrule Warriors Direct on August 4, 2014. Now, my name is C Gamer Ace here to satisfy all your video gaming needs. Now, before we get started here, if you're new to the channel, please consider checking me out as I have a lot of good stuff coming and a lot of good stuff already like Super Mario RPG Let's Play and some things coming up once I have enough people watching me so yeah no, feel free to check me out see if you like me and if you do please like and subscribe not only that but like and subscribe on like on this video if you like my reactions and please consider subscribing so we got two minutes left here so it's almost time and we're just waiting here to see who will what will be revealed for, for Hyrule Warriors hopefully they got pretty much like the whole batch like you know like new characters and new stages you know just the works you know just have that big old Hyrule Warriors sandwich <laughs> that would be cool but anyway about less than a minute and now all we need to do is just wait a little bit longer. Alright. It should be starting any time now. Any time. It's around 8 now, so... But yes. And who else who would I think would get in? A lot of people want Skull Kid, Tingle, you know, all those people. But I really don't care. But anyway, let's get to it. That Rock and Zelda remix, though. Look at the epicness, I'm serious, like, every single tra trailer, this game has gotten better. It's like Minecraft all over again. Anybody else hyped for that intro? Alone? Dang. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, I'm Yosuke Hayashi from Koei Tecmo Games, the producer of Hyrule Warriors. Today, I'd like to give some information about Hyrule Warriors, directly. Hey, you're not out of water. But anyway. To you. First, it's still I'd like cool, to spend though. a little time showing you how battles progress in Hyrule Warriors, using the first stage in the game. As you may know, Hyrule Warriors combines two series, The Legend of Zelda and Dynasty Warriors. Hmm. Based in the world of The Legend of Zelda, you can use simple controls to defeat hordes of enemies with the flashy moves and exciting one-man army action of Dynasty Warriors. Hmm. On the battlefield, the player is not the only one facing enemies. In addition to many Hyrulean soldiers, other characters like Zelda and Impa will fight alongside you on the same field. Depending cool. on the situation, characters will engage in battle chatter, and the player's objectives will continuously change. That's 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 that could really flush out. You can't be easily merely using combo attacks. Combo attacks. Oh 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 oh! It's perfect. You must lock onto it using the L button, close the gap, and find the right opening to defeat it. Oh, Stragehead's best, folks. In Hyrule Warriors, many of the gameplay elements are based on those from the Legend of Zelda series. I like how all the music is remix Zelda's. Notice Remixes. the familiar music when the player requires bombs. Mel's in that. It looks Here like it's time to use them right away. <laughs> Oh, there's some hyperpowered bombs. 
I just love the remix Zelda music though. Or even to attack enemies. Again, sorry for the bad quality. Okay, now let's look at the I do have an Elgato, so I do record with that though. Just not enemies with reactions are red, though. And allies are in blue. Just for reasons. On the battlefield, there are many keeps. And by taking over these keeps, you can increase your number of soldier bases. Changing the battle situation in your favor. Huh. This red square here represents one of the keeps. Defeat the enemies in this keep to take it over. Oh, it's like capture the flag almost. Expanding your territory to create a favorable situation for your army is the most important key to victory. Oh, the big boss. And now, it looks like a giant boss has appeared. King Dodongo. Attack its way for massive damage. You know it's not a crab. New missions will appear as battle situations change. And the victory conditions <laughs> Check. will also constantly change. Oh, Even just now, the defeat King the Dongos. Defeat King the Dongo. I can't so wait to bomb some the Dongos. Can't damage him much with normal attacks, but since it's a common Zelda convention to use the item you just acquired, let's use the bombs we just got. Mmm, <clears throat> tasty bombs. Kaboom! Dang, he went down that easily. Dang. Oh, Link. Link's so epic. Once you complete a stage, you'll see your score on screen. I wonder what the rupees, rupees are for. Oh. Yeah. I'll explain how you can use these later. Or they just say that, whatever. But if you didn't say anything about the rupees, what are these items, huh? Items. In Hyrule Warriors, you can acquire many other familiar items from the Legend of Zelda series. In addition to destroying walls with bombs, you can attack distant enemies using arrows. Oh. Okay, well that's that's climb up walls right. with the hook shot. Oh. And more. You have to take advantage of each type of item and think your way through each level as you that's defeat the enemies. is pretty cool. And just like King Godango, who I showed earlier, there are some monsters who are more easily defeated with certain items. Boom. For example, here's Goma. What is that? If you played a game from the Zelda series, you've probably encountered this monster before. Well, uh, its weak spot is its big open eye. Attack its weak point from as a damage. Attack it with normal weapons. It is a crab. That's where the bow comes in. Use different kinds of items to battle various bosses. Just like in the oh, episode. right in the eye. That must hurt. Hello, everyone. I'm Eiji Aonuma from Nintendo, and I'm a supervisor on Hyrule Warriors. I'm also the producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Ah. In Hyrule Warriors, there are many elements drawn from the Zelda series. I would like to show you one of them right now. Let's start with the Kuko. What? Oh, this is, Kuko. of course, oh, a past Zelda okay. game. As you probably know, Kukos are a very familiar staple within the Zelda series. You'll notice them here and there in villages and towns, and you can pick one up or attack them. No, don't but attack the Kukos at all! It makes them quite angry. That's what happens. Now here's a Kuko in Hyrule Warriors. You have to be careful in this game as well, since they will come after you oh. if you accidentally hit them. Like a big golden chicken! But in some situations, you can make them your ally. And they may be able to help you turn the battle in your favor. Ah, oh, that's cool. More in a bit. The Googles are on my side. Let's charge. Characters. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the characters. Oh my god. I'd like to spend a little bit of time introducing you to some of the playable characters in the game. Is this just like the Smash where like a lot of people thought Unlike they were going to have new characters? Titles, many characters will join the battle in Hyrule Warriors. First up, of course, is Link. Why wouldn't he be in the game? In Hyrule Warriors, he appears as a soldier training to defend Hyrule Kingdom. Link confirmed. The signature weapon is, naturally, a one-handed sword. Link is a well-rounded hero, easy to use for anyone. Ooh. And even, of course, he was famous spin uh. Now for our heroine, Princess Zelda. Zelda. In the main Zelda series, she normally doesn't get too involved in battles. 
but she is quite active as one of the playable characters in the Hyrule Warriors. Her signature weapon is a rapier. When a fire emblem? Fierce combo attack, she can easily plow through See, maybe it's a fire emblem. But she can also create arrows of light to take down distant enemies. Is it me or does Zelda look a lot more powerful? Zelda often appears as a close advisor to Princess Zelda in the course Every one of them look powerful. Dang it. Her character is designed as a Sheikah soldier with a bit of Japanese flair. Giant the Blade of Doom! A powerful blade, a wide attack range. And she acts and talks much like a samurai. Oh man, this is so good. Next up, another Sheik. character familiar to Zelda fans, Sheik. Much like Impa, she's a remaining survivor of the Sheikah, and we designed her in the image of a ninja. Of course, her true form is. Well, there might be somebody you don't know, so we'll let those players try Hyrule Warriors and see for themselves. Yeah, we all know. Using her harp in martial arts, she's a speedy fighter in battle. Ooh, and like a ninja, like a box. In Hyrule Warriors, we also have more special appearances by characters from three beloved Zelda games. Oh. Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, uh. and Skyward Sword. Uh. First up is Ocarina of Time. Here's Darunia. Darunia. He swings around his giant hammer with ease, and uses brute force to knock back waves of enemies. Get a taste it's of my big, mean personnel. hammer. And if you get him in the right mood, he'll bust out some fun dance moves, too. Uh... Next, we have <laughs> Princess Ruto. Ruto. She's also from Ocarina of Time. She Ocarina can change the ground play. into water to attack enemies, or to travel from place to place. Her fighting style keeps opponents at a distance, and it's the perfect match for a Zora Princess. Twilight, Twilight Princess. Princess. Midna and Agatha join the battle. Alright. Here's the Twilight Princess herself, Midna. Just yeah, as before, no. it looks like her true form has been changed by someone's spell. She can use her hair to grab into her enemies, or to create a fist and punch them. Boom. Now for Agatha, the self-proclaimed Princess of the Insect Kingdom. Princess of Insects? She uses her parasol as <laughs> weapon and also dynamically attacks enemies using the power of her favorite insects. Is that a character? Additionally, even the boss character Zan oh, from Twilight okay. Princess is playable in this game. Zan? Okay, oh yeah, that's right. He swings around the scimitars on his hands, summons various things, and can grow to an enormous size during battle. Did they reveal that one before? Tricky moves are definitely I don't think so. Zant, huh? Next, hmm. Skyward Sword. Five fought alongside Get him, pumped. spirit living inside his sword. Mm -hmm. That beef! Five is like she's dancing, and she can transform herself into a sword to attack enemies. The goddess blade. Her mysterious manner of speaking is present in the Whoa, too close. <laughs> Demon Lord Gyrahim, who relentlessly pursued Link and Skyward's sword, also appears. Oh, he's playable too? He's not just one oh, nice! He's a playable character too. People, people like actually, uh, like predicted Sword, that gear he would actually be in the game. The nice. A variety of sword attacks. Expect him to go all out during battle as well. Whoa! He's like dark gear he's in. in addition to characters returning from past Zelda games, what about new characters that are unique to Hyrule Warriors? Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm, I know her. Sources of life, Lana. She yeah, takes to the battlefield that. for a book of sorcery. She happens to be one of the key characters in the story. Well, she's new. And she so. always fights with all her might. She can create magic walls and then push them, pinch foes with them, or destroy them to attack enemies. The <laughs> rolling cube. These attacks, they just look so good. Okay, next up, grass cutting. Grass cutting. I wouldn't say that cutting grass is the foundation of Zelda, but we all know it's something you can definitely try out when you first acquire a sword. Cutting grass is not just some simple action you do to while away the time, though. Sometimes you may find hearts, rupees, or even something that makes you wonder how that. You cut a fairy? What? Worry <laughs> not. You can cut grass in Hyrule Warriors too. 
Go. I hear that they even considered adding a stage where all you do is chop up grass. What? Unfortunately, that didn't make the cut. Oh, she gave me No, you should have done that. I put that in just for like full. If you advance the story, I found that some characters will unlock new weapons. The magic rod? For example, the fire rod for Link. The rod's so epic. Oh! <gasps> the baton from Windmaker, okay. And a spear with the power of the Chaos Spear! Full throttle! With different weapons, you can enjoy completely different actions. So try them all out and find your favorite one. Here's an example. <sighs> a big gigantic cuckoo! <laughs> what is this? Each warrior has character specific special attacks. Using these special attacks will let you defeat a large number of enemies at once. In this the hype. We also added a new system called Focus Spirit. Fill your magic gauge and release it to use Focus Spirit. This will temporarily increase your character's abilities. So try to use it at key moments in battle, along with the right special attacks. Even did. Even the enemy, even the bosses are are all on our side. I wonder if there's going to be like a thing with like talk about bomb shoes. where everyone goes together and like you know goes against bomb one bomb final boss. That'd be cool. Using every single In character you ganked. There was a bowling like mini game using design. What well, winner? You are winner. In Hyrule Warriors, bomb shoes look like this. They're huge. No longer mouse size. The bomb more like giant capybara. Dun, dun, dun. Giant explosions to match. Kaboom! What's wrong with that? Ah, screw Skyrim. This is Zelda. It's not just the characters that have been having saying the series. Yeah. Since we created this unique game based on the Legend of Zelda franchise, the locations used in each battle are inspired by locales that will be familiar to all Legend of Zelda fans. Legend of Zelda. Skyloft, alright, cool. From Skyward Sword. Dun 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 Cause I'm not really playing with Zelda, but I have four. <sighs> but this, this, and the new Zelda for Wii U. Oh, jeez! Take my money, please. Take my money. Just take my money. Take it and don't give it back. There are more stages inspired by the Zelda universe, mainly from these three titles. Wouldn't it be cool to see a retro we themed thing, like? Actual like eight bit stage. That'd be so cool. Next we have Chain Chomp. What? Oh, Originally, the Chain Chomp. Chain Chomp yes. was a character from the Mario universe. Yeah, the Chain Chomp. Somehow he made a guest appearance in a 2D Zelda game. The Chain Chomp. The started because Mr. Tezuka, who was working on Mario games back then as well, jokingly put one in a Zelda game. Mm. This is Chain. The Chain Chomp. Looks like he's now a weapon. You can single-handedly hold a chain jump, which is probably way bigger than that, but it's all in size to where you could hold it. Now that is epic. As you use them in battle. Each character starts with certain stats. And by defeating more enemies and gaining experience, they can level up. Alright, like an RPG, right? When you defeat certain monsters, they might drop various materials. Oh, a bag! Using these materials, you can craft different types of badges that will enhance the warrior's stats. Oh, now that is awesome. There are many types of enhancements. They can increase a weapon's number of attacks, create longer combos, extend focus spirit time, increase the number of times you can use special attacks and potions, and so on. Oh. By leveling up and creating badges. Is that like a fire tornado? Oh, oh. Don't mess with don't mess with Link. He's got the power. You may acquire new weapons during battle. 
Ooh. Some of the main Can I special sword? abilities. Firewall and then giant's knife. There are several varieties of skills. Some of them increase attack damage, or perhaps increase the chance of finding hearts. Hmm. When there is an empty skill slot, you can fuse weapons. You can fuse the weapon with another one to increase the weapon's skills. <laughs> the harder the battle, the higher the chance of enemies dropping better weapons. So try battling and fusing to create your own ultra powerful weapons. This is like, oh my god, this is like, nothing. This is like, wow. Next up. We have the moon from the Legend of Zelda, Majora's uh -oh. Mask. Everybody run! Everything go! Blah, 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 in Majora's Mask, once the moon hits the ground, it's game over. Kaboom. It made it for Kaboom. a very tense atmosphere for the player. In Hyrule Warriors, the moon works like this. Use a hookshot. Oh! <laughs> it never occurred to me to use the moon like that. The, 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 what? Shrunk down in size like a chain chop, and you can use oh, it as an attack. Now I have another exciting mode. Like <laughs> this game is good. This is all my. Please, take a look. A long, long time ago, Ganon, the Prince of this Darkness, like stole the Triforce of Power. He used the power to invade what? the Kingdom of Hyrule, making them. He didn't release eight monsters in the world, so it was rule. It's a unique experience that combines the items of Zelda with the gameplay of Hyrule Warriors. In a new way. Mm -hmm. What you see now is the map of Adventure Mode. Huh. Every Aaron block on the grid represents one stage with its own unique victory condition. Hmm. Once the battle starts, you'll be transported to the world of Hyrule Warriors. It's 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 it's, uh, it's like you're living in the world of any Zelda, but like you're. Acting oh my god. The grid next to the stage will be unlocked, and you can oh. move forward. Now, if that's not cool, in some of the maps, I don't know what is. You can select the command "search." It's like you're living you in the world of Zelda, but you're playing in Hyrule map. Warriors. You can find hidden items. It's... Oh wow! This is a bit similar to classic Zelda games. I bet they have a dangerous to go alone thing somewhere. You are successful at exploring. Hard to find items like new weapons and heart pieces will sometimes appear as rare victory prizes. Oh man. Find treasure through exploration, then battle to retrieve it. As you advance in adventure mode, you can also unlock new playable characters, and some weapons only available in this mode. New characters, you say? So, please try it out. Think about it, they could have the adventure mode be like Next different time. versions of Zelda, like NES 1, Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, you know? I think I can hear something. The what? The spider! Ah, it's a gold sculpture. Spider! Sculpture! Also, players will remember these guys from their collections. Come on! The more you find, the more items you get. A golden skull! Of course, they're always hiding in odd places that make you say, Hey, why are you hiding there? <laughs> why are you over there? <laughs> Of course, they are hiding in Hyrule Warriors. Uh, Do you hear that? It's coming from the direction of a gold sculpture, so you can find it by following the sound. The sculpture. Okay, see you in a sec. Two player co op. In Hyrule Warriors, just like in previous Dynasty Warriors titles, you can enjoy a two player co op mode with your family and friends. Didn't I hear something about online too? However, since we have the Wii U gamepad, instead of splitting the TV screen, we made it so each player can have his or her own screen, the TV monitor, or the Smart. gamepad Smart. You have a better view of everything that way. This might be a little technical, but game in the almighty powerful in order to process both screens simultaneously, the screen resolution is reduced slightly compared to when you're playing. It doesn't matter, as long as you have a better view of, of, your, of, your, of your hand, that's good. That said, just like when you're playing by yourself, we made sure the gameplay is as exciting and fun as it is in single player. Of course, when you're playing single player, off TV mode is also available. Alright, that's good. That's always good. 
Hyrule Warriors is a collaboration title between The Legend of Zelda and Dynasty Warriors. But, at the same time, it's a fun spin-off Zelda title. So, we made sure to add many fan-favorite elements. Fan favorites. Hyrule Warriors will be released in North America on September 26. Definitely get in the game. That's it for today's presentation. Oh wait, are, are, are you gonna... You for watching. Are you gonna get... Are you gonna reveal character or something? Please? For a final bit, we're showing off a character you simply cannot forget to mention. Oh! 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 Thank you all for watching. Oh! Who is it gonna be? Ganondorf! Ganondorf! He's, oh, look at his hair, though! Ganon is back and he's better than ever! Demon King Ganondorf, this great sword. And he's playable! Now, who would have thought you could play with Gan- Okay, actually, that's kind of calm, because Ganondorf is part of any Zelda game, but uh, But still, he looks so cool! In this game, he's like... Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Name's Ganondorf. Got the power of darkness. So. I still think they should have like a bunch of like all the characters in the same map, and then they have the final boss. Like have all of them like battling out. That'd be so cool. And also like an NES version of Hyrule Warriors. Like all the enemies are eight bit. You're eight bit. Everything's eight bit. That'd be so cool. The power is real! Now, if you're not hyped for this game by now, you're stupid. Oh, he just kicks it open! <laughs> wow. Maximum hearts! And look at his face. That face, though. Also, as a special offer to Club Nintendo members, what? A Demon King costume set. Oh, DLC, huh? Oh, oh, so it can be different versions of Ganondorf. Now, that is awesome. It's a good thing I have a Club Nintendo because I'm definitely going to get that. Different versions of Ganondorf. Twilight Friends is offering end of time. Doesn't matter to this guy. Oh, pre order bonus available from select retailers. Or Ocarina of Time costume set. Oh, so much hype. Ah oh, man, I wish I could pre-order this game though. Man. Oh, do I have a... <laughs> oh my god. It was not from just it, it wasn't for just Japan. I wonder if they're gonna like actually like, you know, have the DLC though for in later in later dates, you know. On the eShop, you know after this game comes out after a couple months, you know, because, I mean, like, I know about the exclusive things and stuff, like, ugh, I, 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 I kind of want all of these things, you know, I don't want to have it be, like, you know, things for, like, we were worried, I'll be late for news, and so, but, yeah, I am stoked for this, this is going to be a very good game, I have to say, I'm still in shock that they, that, that they showed all those things at once. Dang, you had like no time to breathe. Seriously, I am definitely registering this game on Club Nintendo, getting my, getting my DLC stuff. I might pre-order it too. Maybe. But they should really re-release DLC from the pre-order bonuses and the Club Nintendo things. You know, as little eShop little DLC things, you know? But they gotta be kinda kinda cheap, because they're just costume type. You know, like two dollar, one dollar, possibly even three dollars. But you could, you shouldn't have to pay like ten dollars or five dollars for like something like a costume set. In in my opinion. But again, I really think this game is gonna be really, really good. And also, like I said, I really hope that they do do the thing that I said they would do, you know, the final boss. They should really have like every single character just like battling it out. And just like have one big final boss, and then once you beat that, the final boss is playable. <laughs> my God, this game has so much potential! Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so I'm so hyped up. I'm so hyped up. If you're not hyped up, get hyped up because you need to be. 
get hyped up for Hyrule Warriors, get hyped up for Smash Brothers, get hyped up for Zelda, get hyped for everything that's coming in the, for the Wii U late 2014, late uh, 2015, not late 2015, but you know, 2014, 2015, get ready for the rise of the Wii U. It's, it's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Wow, well, but uh, anyways. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching this reaction. If you liked it, please like. Oh, wow, I still can't stop thinking about that redirect now I get off. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. See ya.